YouTube viewers, it's your dude, Hermes Dragon, coming at you with this video. We're gonna be reacting to more Corex Kenshin and some more other videos too that's already been listed. But right now, I feel like, well, somebody already sent me a message and uh, a short video of what happened at um, this year's Oscars. And, wow. He showed me the video, I was so shocked. I'm literally in flabbergasted, but let's go ahead and see what 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 really happened because I'm just bewildered. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh wow! Wow! I'm not gonna lie, that every time that slap says a lot. Wow! See, Will Smith is one of my all-time great actors in my in my list, including his family, and I looked up and it turns out I found out what he's been saying but let me go ahead and let the video play out a little bit Will Smith the feed goes silent and Ooh. the audience after Will Smith takes a swing at Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars it all went down after Chris made a crack about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, and her shaved head. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Alright? <laughs> that, that was that was You can look at her face and you tell she was disgusted. Look, take a minute, look at her face right now. She is not happy. That was not funny for her. Which is understandable because I understand that she's going through a um a like a hair loss thing, which is like a like a like a medical condition, which is very legit, obviously. And they're going through some things. But I do I admit like that that really surprised the crap out of me. From my all time heroes. My all time like heroes from films just did that i mean don't get me wrong look here's what i got to say about that i feel like will has every right to slap chris on that and at the same time i feel like he has no right to slap him. i'm not on anybody's side i feel like i'm on the side of right because well i learned like throughout my times like when i was in school and all the times i learned that people always make fun of me the way i am the way i look the way i act and no matter what, everybody's gonna talk about me no matter what I say, obviously. But at the same time, I realized something that, that is just words. Like really just words. And I'm glad Will is standing up for his wife, Jada. And she's a beautiful woman. To be honest, she's a gorgeous woman, regardless of her having hair or no hair. She's still gorgeous. I mean, either way, beautiful family too. And I, and I feel like, um, I think I looked up somewhere, they said that um, Chris did not know that she had a um, medical condition. I'm gonna look at the name real quick before I, before I make any uh, assumptions and you guys <laughs> come at me in the comments. Oplesia. Alloplesia. Okay, alloplesia. That right there. Wow. <laughs> That was a nice one, okay. While Will appears to laugh at first, things immediately turn sour as he takes to the stage, slapping Chris straight across the face. Uh oh. Now, now wait, now I gotta admit, I legit thought my friend who sent this to I thought he was saying that this was literally like a skit. I thought it was a skit too. Until I realized later on, and of course right now in the video, that the dude was serious that was legit slap and Chris Rock took it like a champ though I mean he took that slap like a champ like he had been there before but dang but you gotta admit one thing too like I mean if he didn't know then that's understandable but at the same time I feel like that's that's sad though shouts out to Jada shouts out to Will shouts out to Chris all you guys are like literally all town legends I really hate to see scenes like this where everybody is like upset over because of one thing, especially over words that a comedian is saying, but at the same time I feel like, wow.
guys hear the wind outside is raining here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith. The sound on the broadcast suddenly cut out in the moments following the altercation, but international markets saw the feed in full. Will shouting at the top of his lungs, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Clearly shaken and unsure how to proceed, Chris responds the best way he knows how with another joke. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. So what happened next? E.T. has learned that Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry pulled Will aside for a private chat during the commercial break that followed. Denzel was up against his pal for the Best Actor trophy at the show. I mean, you know, it's a lot of emotions. This is a long time, well, I think a long time coming for him. And it's a lot of emotion. It's probably all welling up in him right now, so it better be him. The trio hugged, and it appeared things had calmed down. A source tells E.T., quote, The theater was silent after Will got up and hit Chris. No one could tell if it was staged or a joke at first. It was incredibly awkward exactly. for the whole audience. Will's friends and team have been trying to calm him down. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! As for why the joke may have hit a nerve for the couple, Jada was diagnosed with alopecia in 2018, a hair loss condition which she has spoken about publicly many times. Y'all know I've been struggling with alopecia and just all of a sudden one day, look at this line right here, look at that, look at that. So it just showed up like that. Now this is going to be a little bit more difficult for me to hide. So I thought I'd just share it so y'all not asking any questions. And earlier in the night, co-host Regina Hall made a jab at Jada, which could have also contributed to Will storming the stage. Will Smith, um, <laughs> you're married, but you know what? You're on the list and looks like Jada approved you, so you get on up here. Get on up here. <laughs> It's also worth noting, Chris made digs about Jada when he hosted the show back in 2016, too. So there's history here. Will got a chance to address the incident when he won the Best Actor honor, his first ever Academy Award. You gotta be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you gotta be able to have people disrespecting you. And you gotta smile and you gotta pretend like that's okay. Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. That's so true. That's so true. I really do feel for Will, though, because, I mean, growing up, I hadn't really had a uh, good childhood in school. I've been pretty much bullied verbally. People have been talking about me, coming at me. The only reason was making them not want to like physically touch me, but because I have my martial arts background, so that they didn't want to try anything. But they just want to come at me verbally, you know. And I feel I always tell myself like they just jealous. They just they just hating. But then I was thinking like like that moment when you know when. Will just reacted like that. It just brought back memories, and when I feel like I just want to go to those people and just <laughs> slap them, just punch them, just make them feel like keep my name or my family's name out of your mouth, and then I just man. people that I've met before, the grandmasters, my um, teachers, parents, most definitely they told me this: like, don't let mere words move you to do things that is totally outside your character and, and will smith is right like there's gonna be people out there that's going to talk bad about you and there's gonna be people who are out there who may talk bad about you but not know what's going on in your life and it's going to be like painful to talk about and it's going to hurt now i know i'm really positive minded here people i'm i'm, I'm trying to keep positive because this whole scene says a lot and it brought back a lot of memories back when i was a kid when i was a wee lad proud of what I am. I'm proud of my mixed heritage, my 
mixed ethnicity and I don't care if I don't look like every other black kid or Native American kid or Hispanic kid or white kid or whatever. I mean, I don't care. I just want to be me. And Jada, she looks gorgeous. She looks amazing. She looks beautiful. Like, even with hair, even without hair, she still looks gorgeous. Like, there's nothing wrong or bad about her at all. And Will Smith was right to stand up for his wife. And, of course, um, at the same time, wrong for slapping Chris Rock. Because, well, those are words. You can't let words control you. Those are words. You can't let words turn into weapons to destroy your life. You got to control yourself. And I know it's not easy. Trust me, I know it's not easy. See people on the reaction videos are going like, they're laughing and smiling. Like, just like, oh my gosh, she's like the crap out of him. That's great. That's great. I mean, I think after the day, I might start smiling and laughing. But today, right now, I just feel like they just hit here. I just hit right here. And I've decided to build YouTube, to be honest. I actually built YouTube, my YouTube channel, um, to bring up positivity and inspiration. And of course, bringing you guys positive eyes to watch my videos. And I really want to make it up to 1,000 and make it higher so I can do more videos, more content, just to help you guys feel more like you are like welcomed and of course feel like you can like go to, you know. But I feel like that slap not only just not it's not only for Chris Rock, but I think that slap just says for everybody who wanna talk bad about his wife, that talk bad about Jada Pickett. I bet all that slap that slap says it to the entire world, says, Okay, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Out your freaking mouth. I bet that I bet everybody else who was talking bad about Jada is taking it back now. They ooh, snap, he's he's getting angry. <laughs> but yeah, that's his wife. He's 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 standing up for her. But at the same time, it's kind of devastating to see somebody like that because that can right there and end his career or not get an Oscar because of that. I mean, you cannot like act up like this and like, of course, at, at work. I mean, if you would have done that, you would have gotten fired right off the spot. But people like that want to get you in trouble and people want to see you fail, even when you make so much success. When you're at the top, ain't nobody gonna take, ain't nobody's gonna pay closer attention than the people that do not dislike and that people that dislike you, people who do not like you. I'm not saying Chris don't like him. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Chris, he does. Of course, they're friends. But at the same time, I bet Chris did not know. Like, I think somebody said he did not know that she had aplo ap alopecia. Hope I'm saying that term correctly. But dang, that, that slap. I mean, I legit thought that was scripted. <laughs> All of you who are going through either the same problems or having problems in your life and people who want to joke about you. Let him talk. Just let him talk. Look at Chadwick Boseman. The dude played Black Panther. The dude was doing his very due diligence, being an actor, being the absolute first African American superhero to make Marvel movies. I don't know, I'm just jumping to a different different type of topic, but still. The dude was surviving cancer. He was going for four years straight surviving colon cancer. And people were talking about him, like, too. Like, say, oh, dude, you look like you fell off hard. Oh, dude, you're getting looking skinny. What happened, man? Oh, my life is not looking good on you. And he just piled through all that problem and just did his own thing. And then from the moment he died, everybody now know why he was where he was. And I bet all those who was talking bad and crap about him, talking all that crap, I bet all of them feel like complete tail holes right now because they were like, oh, so that was wrong with him? Let them talk. It's not worth you losing yourself. Those words are just words. And I know Will Smith knows that too. And he and I see him as a, like an inspiration. I don't really see him as like um as a bad guy or as a violent man. I really see him as an inspiration because especially given through his his history, his family history, especially with his wife and his kids. Shout out hearts to them. And Chris Rock, I know. You, I know you probably did not know, and you just felt like you just, you know, and you mean you're doing your job. You're an act, you're an actor, and of course a comedian. So you did your due diligence as well. And kudos to him for like literally keeping his cool the entire time and not like reciprocating with altercations, with fighting and violence. You know, violent meant by violence, and then going on into, and then both of them get kicked off. 
I'm glad, I'm glad that they both literally um, just like just slap. That was it. And I think he still kept. Well, of course he he kept his. <laughs> um, he kept the um, the Oscar and he still got the award, which is great. I know right now Will Smith is just he just he just going through it, guys. He just going through it. And I know all of you guys also going through some things too. I am as well. It's amazing how we all try to hide our fear and our anxieties and our sadness with a, f a mask of happiness and joy. Which hopefully someday we can remove that mask and it be the same thing underneath it. I'm sorry for me <laughs> making it a little bit too too personal, guys. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, notification bell for any more future videos coming on later on my channel. And I and I hope and I pray to God that you guys will stay healthy and stay positive. Throughout times like this, everybody's losing it. We just need to stay strong. And I hope you guys stay strong as well. And I appreciate you guys for watching my videos, seeing some spark of inspiration. If you really like this video, feel free to share it with your friends and share with people who really need the motivational speaking. And if you guys want to see some motivational speaking, I mean, I'd be happy to bring that up on my channel a lot. I mean, if you guys want to hear some motivational speaking, especially since all the tribulations I've been through as well. And I just hope Will is okay. Hope Jada will be okay. And I hope this right here, I know it's not going to be, it's going to be take a while before people are going to forget about this, but I hope all this is just in the behind us and we look towards the future. Anyway, guys, peace out. Bye.